All right, super, super informal video because I'm still working on the project. So I thought, oh, I'll just make it while I'm still implementing voice. Uh, this was the workflow I sort of figured out to make it a little bit easier on myself to get voice acting into my game that I've made with Rempi. Uh, so we're using the, tika tika tika, we're using this bad boy, define config auto voice. Whoa. Um, first thing I did is I use this handy dandy extract dialog, which we're all so familiar with. It gives you this thing of monstrosity. It's fine. Copy the spreadsheet over um, to a new spreadsheet, um, broke it out via character. Um, so you can see, oh, these are all Diego's lines. These are all Niaja's lines. Uh, so I could see them in order. Um, that's just simple spreadsheet sorting and copy pasting. Uh, then the way I process audio just in general is I go and come into audition and uh, these are the lines that my actor gave me, the very lovely Alyssa Park. Um, and how I process lines anyway is like I'll play There is no reason to act so untoward. Like, that take cool, I'll highlight it and mark it, um, you know, highlight, mark, and it shows up in the left. I'm gonna delete that though, cause I don't wanna throw myself off. Um, this is just the stuff I would do normally. This is just normal, I need to get audio ready for a game. After I mark it, I'll go back through and do any kind of mastering, clean up, that kind of good stuff. Or I'll clean first and then mark it. Just kind of depends on like what I got and what I'm doing. Um, but in any case, I end up with mark markers and a spreadsheet of the name of the lines of the character. And this one you see I had to like, do, I had to do a little, little of, uh, manual work because I had to find a line I had that was secret. Um, so you'll notice so far, this is where this book would, this is where this character would show up cued. No voice. No voice of this character yet. What's going on? I don't, I don't want to reveal any more secrets. Um, so I, with my spreadsheet, whoa, and my markers, whoa, I'm going to, and I made sure that marker one was line one, marker two was line two. That was something that automatically works anyway because I'm going through the script, but that was something I did. So that line one is line one, marker one is line one on the spreadsheet. Um, so I then highlight these, I export selected markers to CSV. I'm gonna call them a thing. I was making sure I put them in the right folder <laughs> for a second there. Freaked out. Uh, Frankenstein markers. I'm going to open with my open office because I don't use Microsoft Office. Screw that noise. Uh, that should give me, where are you? There you are. Um, this new handy dandy spreadsheet, which is my markers, and then their start time and duration time. I just copy. I like to keep the, I wanted to keep the original markers just so I know. Yes, shut up. Uh, this is, oh God, I can't type. Um, I, just, I keep everything. And then I'm gonna go back to this spreadsheet where I have um, the configurable ID of the lines for the character. It's gonna go copy. And this is why you have to make sure that the markers are already in order because this doesn't work if the markers aren't in order. Yes, beautiful, thank you. I'll just save that. Pop a bunch of errors because it hates me. Great. Um, then I will import markers from file. I will go to the Frankenstein markers. Wimmy wham wham wazzle, there they all are. And you'll notice that, okay, so this is the... We want to be in the right hands, under the right eyes. Okay, so you'll notice that's 1B80, 3, whatever the frick. And if you look here, 1, 8, we want to be under the right hands. We want to be in the right eye. So it's the right marker, right line. Um, then I would, I might delete those. Uh, I was doing on the longer files, I was deleting the old markers because there was just too much. But for now, I'm just going to highlight these. I'm going to use this export audio selected range markers to separate files. I'm going to 
drop it into my file or the game is all the voices are saved it's like folder export wait okay um then i will open the game i will reload the game and there is no reason to act so untoward i have to change the text because i put something wrong in the script but bam now we have voice acting And what is this? And then I have to do all the other characters as well. But yeah, that is it. That made doing all 60 lines for the main characters really easy um, because that was the exact same amount of time that it took. I hope this is useful to anybody who's doing it. It certainly made this whole process for me way faster. Um, comments, concerns, if you have any questions, if I explained it too weird or too fast. And... Um, you should be able to do this in Audacity. I know you can do markers in Audacity, and I think you can import markers via CSV into Audacity. Obviously, you can do it on Audition. I assume you can do it in, like, Reaper and stuff. Like, anything that has markers should have this capability. I hope this is useful to somebody out there. I love you all, and I want you to have a wonderful day and a wonderful life.